Here's five easy ways to save a lot of money in skateboarding. So the first way you can save a lot of money is by buying your skateboarding parts in bulk. And by that I mean buying four to five boards or buying two pairs of trucks instead of one. If there is a sale on skateboarding parts, so decks, trucks, wheels, bearings, hardware, you want to buy enough product so you could have a whole year so you don't have to be buying any more. And since it's on sale, you could already save a lot of money by doing so. The best way to find product for sale that you want to buy is just going to Google, looking up the skateboarding part you want. So skateboarding decks, skateboarding trucks for sale, or you could also type in skateboarding decks for clearance or trucks for clearance or whatever part you need. Just type in the actual part. Uh, you may not get the brand that you want, but still you get it for a lot cheaper and it's the same quality as one of the $60 boards that you normally buy or your $45 board that you could get for $30. So you're saving a lot of money by doing bulk buying and also bulk sales. If there's a lot of product for sale, you want to make sure you buy as much as you can for that whole year so later on you don't have to look for boards last minute when they're $60 but you could have gotten the same board for $45 or whatever you need. And it's just skateboarding so all the graphics are going to get destroyed anyways if you're doing a lot of tricks. The boards that I have here, each of them would normally cost $50. So what I did instead, I actually got them for $40.35. So I think this board was for 35 and this board was 40 So I already saved like $15 on each board. And they're both P2 decks, Santa Cruz. So they should last me a long time. So that's what I mean by buying in bulk. I bought two boards instead of just one. And that way I know these boards will last me for the rest of this year. So the second way you could save a lot of money is by skating your board until it gets worn out. So what I mean by that is if your tail gets a lot of razor, meaning that it's already flat and you don't have any more uh, pop, then just use your nose as your tail. So that way you could have another little bit of life in your board. And if you're in a very rainy country or area, make sure you always bring a plastic bag with you so your board doesn't get waterlogged. Because the main problem with waterlogging is that your board will snap a lot faster, it will lose its pop faster because all the wood is soaked. So your grip will also get soaked, meaning that there's no more grip. And actually, you could also change out your grip instead of having to change out your whole board if your board still has a little bit of life in it. Keep your wheels until you actually have to change them. And what I mean by that is if your wheels get coned, which to the point where you can barely skate them or they're very too small for you to skate them, then you could change them out. But if they're just losing like three, four millimeters, don't change them right away. Just keep skating them until you actually have to, well, change them. So make sure you have a good sense of judgment when to change out. If you break a kingpin in your truck, don't just buy a new truck. You could just buy a replacement kingpin or you could replace your bushings as well if you break them too. It's only like $5 or less for bushings or your kingpin. So there's no point you wasting $40 on new trucks when you could just buy a kingpin for $5. Bearings, I would recommend just buying the same product. So if you have bones, then just buy bones and just replace one bearing at a time. If you ever pop them, um, grip tape, if you lose some grip, then just change out your grip tape. Don't just buy a whole new board if your old board still has life in it. That's a good way to save a lot of money too. So the third way you could save a lot is by knowing what you're buying. And what I mean by that is knowing the product that you're going to be wanting to buy, which is more based on quality over quantity. As the old saying goes, you pay what you get. So what I mean by that is, if you pay $20 for bearings, and those bearings last you longer than the ones that cost for $5, it's better to buy the $20 ones and making sure that they will last you a longer time. So you're actually saving more money by paying a little bit more. And the only way you actually will be able to know how to tell the product is good or bad is by trying things out. Like me personally, when it comes to shoes, there are sales for shoes that are cheap, like $40 shoes, but they're not gonna last you a long time because they're made out of canvas and canvas doesn't last you a long time. So I might as well buy a little bit more expensive shoes so they could last me a lot longer so I'm saving more money. And 
I skate a lot of Etnies. I actually did a video on Etnies. So I know that their product is quality. They're probably one of the best skate shoes out there that last the longest. So last year, I know that Etnies had a sale. So for their Jocelyn ones. So what I did was I bought four pairs of shoes. And actually one of the pairs I actually gave away because they were too small. So I actually have three pairs and I still have a year to go. So these shoes are definitely going to last me a long time. The Johnson ones. So brand new. Never skated. For each of those shoes, it was like a buy one get 50% off and the retail price of a regular Etnies shoes is $80. So what I did was I bought two. So I got one for 80 then one for 40. So now I just saved $40. So why would I want to just stop at two shoes when I could just buy four shoes? So I just saved $80 on two, four pairs of shoes. So it was kind of worth me knowing that Etnies makes a good shoe and I just bought as many as I could during that time and I still have shoes remaining that I could still skate. So I'm really, so I'm saving a lot more money in long term than short term. So the order of shoes from longest lasting to shortest lasting is this. At the top you got leather, is the longest lasting, then you got suede, canvas, and then mesh. Mesh is the easiest one to tear because it has no backbone to it, it has no, um, you could just rip it easily with the grip tape. So you always want to make sure you know what you're buying, that's what I mean. So I know that Etnies is a good company, so I bought it from them. I know that Bronson is a good bearing company because they last the longest and they have their own technology that helps protect and make the bearings last longer. So I always buy three to four pairs of and the only way you can find out is by experience, how long you've been skating and you're trying out different products. So the fourth easy way to save a lot of money is by skating your local board shop board. So basically, if you really don't have money and you want to still get a board, you can always go to your local skate shop and they usually have boards for 30 to $35. Best example is Tactic Skate Shop, which is online. You could just go on their site or Skate Warehouse. They also have boards for $30 each and the quality is still there, 7 ply, standard and still good quality and if they have sales you can also get it for sale and just buy 5 to 6 boards for a whole year so then you don't have to worry about running out of boards. So your skate shop has their own board brand but if you cannot even afford a board and you're actually really broke you can just get a drop off. So basically at your local skate shop, there might be other skaters that just leave their board in the skate shop because they think they don't need it anymore. They wanted to buy a new one. So if you don't have any money, you could just get a board that was already used. And you might find some boards that are still good quality and you can still skate them even though they might have a little bit of razor tail. But still, you, it's better than not having to skate at all. So that was four. Now let's move on to five. So the last way you could save a lot of money is by looking for coupons and a lot of people might say wow really coupons like come on well if those coupons can save you 15 20 dollars why would you not take it most of the time you'll only find coupons if you're shopping online so if, let's say you're going out to checkout or if you go on a certain website so tactics skate warehouse or whatever website you usually go to they might have like 25 dollars percent off boards or uh they might have 10% off clothes or whatever. So it's a good idea to just buy when it's on sale. And if you also have Honey or whatever uh, application you have and you put apply and it says like save 10 so you're saving another 10%, you're basically saving 35% on a certain product that you want. So why would you not take it? If you have four boards, each of them costs $25, that gives you a total of $100 and you put a 10% coupon in it, you're saving $10 already. That may not sound a lot, but if you do it over time, you're saving a lot of money. And also, a lot of online shops have free shipping if you buy over a certain amount. So it might be 75, it might be $100. And you're also saving a lot of money that way too, if you're doing free shipping as well. So you might as well buy more. So let's say a board costs $25 and then they drop it to 20 and then you put another coupon in for 10% or 15%, you're 
you're still saving a lot more money. You're getting a sale from the actual shop and then you're also doing another coupon to save even more. And then you could just use that money to buy something else for skateboarding. You could also buy wheels or bearings that you want. What you always want to do is find good deals. And if you're saving money, that's already a good deal. These five steps that will save you money can save you hundreds of thousands of dollars per year if you know how to use them. So I told you how to use them. Now just go to your online shop, get something to buy, or get some drop-offs, or use some coupons, or whatever you need.